All right, Jimmy, the first thing you tell him is you can't be on the jury because your dog was hit by a truck and today's the funeral. No, nah, Jimmy, just tell him you don't have the time. It's easier than that. Wear a red Make America Great Again hat and you'll be out in no time. Watch. <laughs> look to the person to the left of you. Now look at the person to the right. One of these people has tried to get out of jury duty. But when they do that, sometimes what we get is this. I looked around the courtroom. The judge was white. The prosecutor was white. The jury was white. Even though I was innocent, I knew I had no chance. These are the words of an exonerated death row prisoner. These words highlight a problem that we have in our country. Our juries lack diversity. Not just diversity of race, but diversity of thought, diversity of experience, diversity in every sense of the word. And this lack of diversity is leading to a lack of fairness. My name is William Snowden. I'm the founder of the Juror Project. Our mission is to increase diversity of jury panels as well as improve people's perspective of jury duty. As progressives in this country, this is your call to action. And here's a little background. I chose to be a public defender in Louisiana because it's one of the prison capitals of the world. Simply put, they're locking up too many black people, too many people of color, and the majority of these people are poor. And so I made it my responsibility to create the Juror Project and go out into the community and have conversations with folks about how the criminal justice system isn't always just. And actually how we can take power and bring criminal justice reform through the jury box by increasing diversity. And it's really a simple idea based in the roots of the benefits of diversity. We're all familiar with and know why we need a diverse boardroom or why we need a diverse classroom. Well, for the sake of the fairness of our criminal justice system, we need diverse juries too. And here's why. One of my first cases, I represented a man named Clarence charged with possession of heroin. If he were to go to trial and lose, he'd be facing a life sentence in prison. Not for possession with intent to distribute, not for actual distribution, but for being a heroin addict on his third strike. Now, Clarence wanted help. And we all wanted to help him, but we all agreed that the help he deserved wasn't a life sentence in prison. But the law said otherwise. With this new attorney general in office, the war on drugs is back. But we've seen this war before. We know the casualties of this war are going to be people of color and poor people, right? We all know that this war on drugs leads to generations of mass incarceration. Generations of single parent homes and generations of wrongful convictions. Now, more than ever, we need more diversity in that deliberation room. We need folks representing with a diverse perspective that the war on drugs is a failed policy. We need folks talking about how drug addiction is a health problem, not a crime problem. And we know what happens when we don't have this diversity. For example, in Louisiana, they studied more than 300 trials over a 10 year period. And what they saw was when there were not more than two black people on the jury, there were zero acquittals. But what happens when we increase the diversity? Well, in that same study, it showed when there were three or more African Americans on the jury, the acquittal rate increased to 12%. When there were five or more African Americans on the jury, the acquittal rate increased to 19%. That's direct evidence and direct proof that with an increase in diversity, there's actually an increase in fairness. And at the Juror Project, what we like to say is that's what our criminal justice system is about, a fairer system. And I think we probably all can agree. Now, although this research is based on diversity of race, we can imagine the impact we have when we increase diversity with more women or with more young people and, of course, with more progressives. But when you or Jimmy try to get out of jury duty, that's potentially one less person bringing diversity to the jury room. That's potentially one less perspective that could change the outcome of the case. And that's potentially one less vote that could save Clarence's life. Jury duty isn't someone else's duty, it's yours. And I want you to be excited about this opportunity and the next time you get a jury summons, I want you to use the hashtag jury duty is my duty. I want you to share about what you learned today and if you wanna tag us, we wouldn't be mad at that either, all right? <laughs> Right here, right now, in this room, we all have the power to not only change the criminal justice system, but we also have the power to save someone's life. I want you to be part of this process in changing the narrative around jury duty, and I want you to start today. Thank you.